Hello sixth graders, my name is Miss Tobias and I'm one of the counselors at Mountain View and I am going to talk to you a little bit about the high school. Wait, isn't high school just like middle school? Good question, Miss Vicki. No, the high school isn't exactly like the middle school, just like the middle school wasn't exactly like the elementary school. In high school, you have a lot more classes to choose from. In At Mountain View, we have uh, maybe five classes for sixth graders to choose from, elective classes. At the high school, I think there's close to about 25 classes, elective classes that you can choose from. So a lot of students are pretty excited about that. The high school also has credits. Wait a minute. What are credits? Credits are points, basically, that you earn when you pass a class. And so you have seven classes, full year classes, every year. And so you have seven classes your freshman year, seven classes your sophomore year, your junior year, and your senior year. And you earn one credit for an entire year, half a credit for a semester, because some classes are only a semester. So you have the option, you have the potential of earning 28 credits. You need 26 to graduate, so it's important that you do well. Here's Anthony, a former Mountain View Middle School student, to talk a little bit more about high school and kind of what you can look forward to. Hi, Mountain View sixth grade success class. My name is Anthony and I'm a sophomore at Newburgh High School. And I'm just wanting to talk to you guys about how high school is different from middle school. Obviously, one of the big differences is the responsibility that you get in high school. I'm not saying that to make you guys anxious or nervous, but that's just something I wanted to point out before I get started. One of the things I was really nervous about when I was going into high school a year and a half ago was making friends, but it's actually really easy. One being because Newburgh High School offers a lot of extracurricular activities and offers a lot of different classes. So you're bound to find something that you enjoy and find people that you enjoy being around as well. I am on the Newburgh track team, cross country, and ASB team as well. ASB is student government or school government. And I can personally tell you guys, I have found some of my closest friends just from being a part of those extracurricular activities and sports teams. We have a thing called AP classes in high school. These are called advanced placement classes. These are college level courses and you can take them to get credit for that class so you don't have to retake it later on in college um, if you pass the AP test at the end of the year. Um, so if you are planning on going to college and you wanna bust that stuff out as fast as you can, you can start taking them your sophomore year, I think. Another thing I loved about high school and pre-COVID and even now because it's coming back were high school games. The football games in September and October were my favorite to attend. And I'm telling you guys now, you gotta go. And maybe you can start going now once they start opening it back up for more people. They are 100% worth it. School spirit is key. We have a great school code culture and atmosphere. It is 100% worth it. Basketball games, the swim team meets, all of them, track meets, it is soccer games, lacrosse games, volleyball games, all of them are 100% worth it to go to. And it just gets you more involved in the school because we're one big family. I know you guys probably have a lot of questions and I wish I could answer all of them. I'd be happy to answer some more specific questions if need be. But thank you for letting me speak, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank Hold you. on just a minute. Did I hear Anthony say something about AP classes? I don't know what those are. And I think he mentioned something like honors diploma. Can you explain those? I'm Ellie, a sophomore in high school at Newburgh High, and I'm going for an honors diploma. So basically an honors diploma could be considered a diploma on steroids. Um, to get an honors diploma, you have to have a 3.5 GPA or higher, and you have to take these AP or honors classes. So, for example, there's AP Literature, AP Language Arts, 
AP US History, there's Honors and AP Chemistry that you can both take for an Honors Diploma, and other simple classes. You do have to put in more work with these classes other than like the basic standard English class, but it'll be worth it in the long run because you can get college credits which can be good so that when you go into college, you only have to do college for three years or three and a half years instead of all four. You have to take the AP test to get college credits, which is around a three hour long test in May, but in your classes, you study and prepare for them. I'm taking a, going for an honors diploma hoping to get a scholarship to college, but I know a lot of people take an honors, go for an honors diploma to look good on their resume or to hopefully get into a better college or to just push themselves. Thanks, Ellie. Now let's hear from another former Mountain View student, Kalani. Hi, my name is Kalani and I'm currently a junior at Newburgh High School and I'm supposed to tell you a little bit about what high school is like. High school is basically an extended version of middle school, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> There's nothing for you to be worried about or scared of though. The campus is a little bit bigger, but that's only because there are more students and there is a ton of new class options that are open for you. Um, as freshmen, you might not get a ton of choice about what classes you can take, but as you get into upperclassmen, there are honors classes, there's AP classes, which potentially give you college credit, which is pretty awesome. There's also a ton of new electives that open up, like art, ceramics, there's four performing arts, there's drama, choir, band, and orchestra. I'm a little biased, orchestra's amazing. But any of the performing cl arts classes you can't go wrong with, they're all awesome. You meet new people, the teachers are incredible, and we're kind of a giant chaotic family of fun. But if art and performing arts is not your thing, that's totally okay, because the school also provides classes like CAD design, computer design, robotics, there's sewing, there's cooking, there's welding, there's wood shop, there's team sports, and there's weights. There are a ton of options that are open for you, and if you can't take them through the school as elective classes, you can also take them as clubs. There are a ton of club options for you to get involved with at the school. And if you want to get more involved in the school, there is student leadership through ASB elections. And that's pretty awesome. You get to set up a ton of new events and fundraisers for the school. And if you want to do good for the Newburgh community as a whole and just do good community service, there's the Key Club, which is an awesome option. And if none of those sound interesting and you still want to rep the high school, I definitely can recommend sports. <laughs> I am part of basketball, soccer, and track, and we are always recruiting, and every sport is always recruiting, and if you just want to stay active and healthy and rep your school, I definitely recommend it. Um, and advice-wise, I just say be respectful to your teachers. They have a ton of kids to go through, and as long as you're respectful and you pay attention in class, they will t treat you with the exact same respect. Um, the teachers are all so sweet. Everyone, of course, has a different experience, but that's normal. Um, everyone's gonna be different though. Everyone's gonna have different opinions, different looks. Everyone's figuring out who they are in high school. And all I can say is just be kind to one another. And you really can't go wrong. Um, everybody's gonna have difficult days and you never know what someone's going through. So as long as you show kindness, you really can't go wrong. Um, yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing for you to be worried about. There's nothing for you to be stressed about. I hope you're excited for high school. And yeah, that's it. Wait, what is ASB? Hi everybody, my name's Taylor and I'm a senior at Newburgh High School this year. I'm just about to finish out my last year of ASB and although I'm really sad, I'm also really grateful that I get to walk out of those doors and feel like I really made an impact on my school. I would super recommend ASB to anybody who, even if you're shy, just wants to get out there a little bit. I'm somebody who's definitely on the shyer side and you have to give a speech in front of your class. And it was really scary for me. I practiced for weeks and I ended up being really proud of myself afterwards. And it helped me a lot with ASB because after I finished that speech, I felt like I could do anything. And I ended up talking at assemblies with the whole school and it just was a really cool experience for me. Also in ASB, you plan really fun stuff like homecoming, spirit weeks, prom, 
I can't even think of anything else. You just, you really get involved in the school and it's really fun to kind of see your work come together and it really brings people together too and people really enjoy it. So if ASB sounds like something you are interested in, you should totally sign up and the speech isn't that bad. You should really do it. Thank you. I could not have said that better myself. Thank you, Taylor. Um, I know a big question that middle schoolers have is, is the high school hard? Um, I think that kind of depends on who you are and how much you're willing to put into it. Um, I think the high school is harder than middle school, but you're smarter in high school than you are in middle, middle school. You have a lot of help. You have great teachers. Um, so that is fantastic. Another way to prepare? Well, I'm not going to tell you. Mark Brown is here from the high school. He's one of the vice principals and he's gonna give you some tips as well. Hey, what's up, class of 2027? My name is Mark Brown. I'm one of the assistant principals over at Newburgh High School, and I wanted to connect with you real quick just to help you get excited about one day being here as a student at Newburgh High School. When you come to Newburgh High School, one of the cool things about being a high school student is you have a lot of options and a lot of choices for what you get to participate in, both in our academics, there's a lot more electives, a lot more opportunities within different content and core areas, but then also there's a lot of co-curricular activities. So whatever it is you're passionate about, whether it be performing arts, working in our theater, or playing a musical instrument, or in the choir, or maybe it's CTE or career and technical education, we have welding classes, we have shop classes, you know what, some of our shop classes in the past, they've built tiny homes. We do amazing, really cool things. We have almost 20 3D printers that are constantly running in our makerspace classes. Or maybe you want to participate in athletics and maybe you're going to be on the football team or volleyball or water polo or whatever your sport of choice is. There are so many opportunities waiting for you here at Newburgh High School. But one of the things that we hear all the time from students at Newburgh High School, once they get here is they wish they would have done a better job preparing in middle school because once you get to high school every single class counts for credit and you are earning credit every single day every single semester every year towards graduation and so the study habits and skills and the knowledge you have so when you come into math if you've done a really good job sixth seventh and eighth grade of being a great math student or a great language art students that's going to help you be prepared to be successful at Newburgh High School also beyond just understanding the content the habits you have if, if you like to study if you like to work hard if you're committed to being the best that you possibly can even if you don't understand everything even if you struggle with academics or you struggle in a sport if you're constantly working to get better that's gonna help you be successful once you get here to Newburgh High School. So I just wanted to give you some encouragement. Don't wait until your ninth grade year to all of a sudden start giving your best effort. Give your best effort right now as a sixth grader and then as a seventh grader and as an eighth grader. Build those habits, build those skills so that when you come here, you get to have a blast and you get to have as much fun as possible in whatever it is. You know what? We every year have teams that win state championships. We have teams that win national championships. We have a robotics program that goes and competes at the state, the regional, and the national tournaments. In every area of Newburgh High School and of Newburgh Nation, we have students doing amazing things and we can't wait for you to be one of those students as a Newburgh High School Tiger. So, don't wait, start working today, getting your mind right, making sure you're building those habits and get yourselves ready to be successful, to jump in full speed, go 100% once you get here in a couple of years. Well, thank you sixth graders for listening to us. I hope we answered your questions. If not, just know that Mrs. Bynum and I are here always um, to answer questions you have. We will talk about high school a lot in eighth grade. We will do kind of some college and career planning, um, but just know you can always come to us. And I'm glad that you're looking forward to going to the high school and asking questions. So good job, sixth grade success students.